often should you release music? The waterfall strategy explained. So the simple answer really is you should release music every four, maybe six to eight weeks. But if it was that easy to become a successful independent artist, then everybody would be a successful independent artist. So what I want to do is walk you through some different techniques and explain the highly favoured waterfall strategy. So welcome back people and this video is all about how often you should release music and I'll be going through the following. Release periods, the waterfall strategy, and the do's and don'ts. So be on the lookout for all the gems and make sure you stay right until the end to get the best tips. But just like usual, make sure you click below for all the chapters, timestamps and markers to move in and around the video where you feel best. But if not, you know exactly what to do. Sit back, take note and relax. people before we start make sure you subscribe to the ditto music youtube channel click like and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and make sure you get down in the comments be a part of the ditto community if you've got any questions or if you want to know anything get down there stay down there all right cool without further ado let's get into it let's talk about release periods straight in so when it comes to releasing your music especially when we're talking about singles it's so important to lock in your audience and allow them to be a part of the journey and you can't necessarily do that with an ep and album so easily so it's so important to focus on them singles but the question really is how often should you be releasing music realistically a good campaign can be as short as four weeks a great campaign could be as long as a year if not longer so you have to be sensible when readying your singles in order for a good release and a lot of the time it's playing it by ear or keeping your eyes on organic traffic, impressions, engagements, likes, shares, comments, all of that good stuff. And all this is to understand and see and also work with the idea of the momentum of the campaign when you're pushing this single. But overall, it depends on where you are with your release. If you're at the start, it's so important to think about things to help build the momentum and to carry on. Or perhaps you're a part of the campaign or the release where you're thinking, okay, now it's time to move on to the next single. If you have a strong belief in a single or perhaps it's early into the campaign, it's so important to utilize content, social assets, fans, supporters, working trends, challenges, artist friends or even influencers. The point is to utilize different means to keep building that momentum. So when it comes to different release periods, it's all about how well the single is actually doing and also what you can do while it's building to push that momentum, push the campaign life and really allow that release to become the best single it can be. So really think outside of the box. Think about remixes and covers and so much things to kind of allow people to be involved in the single. So to further understand and explain why the industry are focusing more on singles as opposed to EPs and albums, especially if you're an independent artist, is because of a term called the waterfall strategy or the waterfall method. So let me explain. So most artists are obviously privy to the idea of releasing music, whether it's singles, EPs or albums. But what you might not know is that even though the album was the main thing for fans and supporters to look forward to, for artists and bands, and it still is in certain cases, but industry-wise, it's not really the focus anymore. But now as an independent artist, you can actually utilize this to your advantage. So bear in mind the times that we're in, the intention span of supporters and fans, and also the fact that albums are getting shorter and EPs are almost becoming more more the end goal of a body of work. Speaking on the change in the culture of how the audience take in music, there's been a few issues on the amounts of what artists get paid per stream by different music outlets like Spotify for example. Although streaming companies believe it's the artists who aren't doing enough to help themselves. The Spotify CEO Daniel Ek stated in an interview in 2020 with Music Alley in which he said musicians should be recording and releasing music non-stop in order to make ends meet. Also, we said it's not enough for artists to release an album every three to four years. The issue here really is for independent artists. Although the access is there, the budget can't always cover the needs. But this shows how important this next technique is to combat that thought process. So if you really want to build your fan base, and this strategy here might help you. And this is how it works. You would release a single and then you would do the work you need to do to get the single to where it needs to be within the campaign. And as the momentum of the track is at its peak or kind of varying off, you then release another track, another single, and you start sharing both of these singles in a playlist but you make sure whichever is the most recent single is at the top of this playlist and you keep repeating this technique over the course of weeks and months maybe even a year or so and before you know you have a full playlist of great music that people already love that people have been streaming and also that is proven to work and like i said after repeating this method for a little while you now have maybe seven maybe eight songs that are proven to work so what you do then is 
when you're ready to now announce a, an album, a EP, you would add a few more songs on her, brand new. Maybe that wouldn't work well as singles, but would definitely work well in a playlist. And with all of this music together, you now have the recipe for a great album already there and ready to be shared. And by doing this over the weeks and the months, you would have now built a stronger fan base and you would have allowed people to come on the journey with you and really be a part of your music and the growth. And when you get to this point, you can now reshare this EP or this album as a great body of work so you would have known that this music is going to be put together and presented so indirectly you've given the album in small doses and now they have the full thing. The other option here is to just keep continuing the same method of trialing and putting out music every four to six weeks and as you're doing this you're picking out the best out of the bunch so maybe over this period you could have released 10 tracks but perhaps only five did really well and you've got three more you want to add to that as an album so then by doing it this way you're in a position to choose the best tracks rather than just the tracks that have been already out. And then the other option here is to just keep doing this until one of these singles extremely pop off and blow up. And the extra benefit of doing the waterfall method is that no matter which way you do it, it's going to help you to get on more playlists, be seen by more people, gain more fans, and also work better with Spotify's algorithm and the way that streaming platforms work now. They want you to release music all the time. So if you have a set schedule, a kind of plan, a campaign, that is always turning out new music, then you're going to be in a great position to get onto these editorial playlists and also to maintain the traction on your name and the music that you're bringing out. So overall, the idea here is to build a project as you go, but if you really think about it, if you have an album or EP already complete, just drip feed your fan base, these outlets, track by track over the course of weeks and keep building that momentum. And then when you're ready, package all the tracks that you think work well together and really utilize your insights as you're going. Bear in mind the analytics, see what tracks are working, package the best ones together, put some new ones in there and then bam, you've got an album to release. You've got a great body of work that's already proven, already successful, and people will potentially already like. So artists like Charlie XCX have mastered this technique already. In a conversation with Verb, it states, Charlie XCX has made her career out of releasing music however and whenever she wants. So if a new album, Charlie, already sounds familiar to fans, that's because it should. About half of the album tracks were released as singles before it was released, spanning back to almost a year. This would have been unthinkable before streaming, but Charlie uses the instant nature of modern platforms to advantage, upending the traditional idea of an album and growing her audience in the process. Charlie said, I was feeling very creative and I wanted to release music rapidly and when I wanted to. He states, without streaming, it would have been impossible to do that. And there's so many artists doing this independent artists, bigger artists, smaller artists, artists like Bibi Rexa, Billie Eilish, the chain smokers, they've all utilized at some point the waterfall strategy. Quick side note, if you're releasing singles and further down the line, you're gonna to wanna to release an EP or an album utilizing those singles. Then you'll have to take down those singles at some point and add it to the new release, the new EP, the new album. And as long as you utilize the same ISRC codes from the singles onto the singles that you'll now include on your EP or your album, you'll be fine. This way, all the individual tracks will be unaffected in regards to playlist inclusion, stream count, or any placements. All of the metadata will be carried over to the new tracks on the new release. And with or without the waterfall strategy, artists do this a lot and artists can easily do this on digital music. So with the waterfall strategy explained, what are the do's and don'ts on how often you should release your music? Well, the do's are to stay consistent and try and use that consistency to build your fan base. As you're releasing these singles, see what's really working and chime in further on that energy. Utilize that to build momentum. Make sure you have artwork, promo assets, clean versions and all the necessary things well before you release any of these singles. And have a real plan so you don't get sidetracked. And this is mainly so, so you can see it through to the end and get real results. And that'll help you the next time you do it and it'll help you for every track that you release. And then the don'ts are, you don't put out so many singles in a shorter period of time that you don't give them any light and you don't actually have the time or the effort to promote them effectively. Literally no less than four weeks six weeks each time preferably. And don't just release any random singles. Most likely these singles will live in an EP or an album. So put out your best work each time. 
and don't just think that your music will promote itself. Get out there and do the groundwork. And if you can't do it or you don't have the time to do it, get someone else, pay a professional to do it. But people really would like to see you as an independent artist pushing your music, showcasing your music. But it's all about creating a great campaign that people can stand with and really push. And that's it explained right there. And I really hope this video gave you exactly what you needed moving forward. And just to recap, we touched on the following. The release periods, the waterfall strategy, and the do's and the don'ts. So from me, Vital, and the rest of the Ditto Music team, more love, more powers. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Make sure you're in the comments and let us know exactly what you think. Have you tried the waterfall strategy? It's something that you would do. Have you got a different technique, a different method, a different strategy that's worked for you? Let us know in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and love. Powers.